three. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Pro Wrestling Report primetime Wednesday night. We take a look back at some notable things from this past Monday's WWE Raw. We've also got some new names added to the shenanigans in the concrete jungle party. An update on the PWR draft. We go in-depth on whether or not Randy Orton is being wasted at WrestleMania. And we also look back at tonight's WWE main event. The Pro Wrestling Report primetime Wednesday night starts right here, right now. Straight Edge Divas Hardcore Hall of Famer Hero on Wednesday, March 20th, 2013. David, a lot to get to, so let's kick things off right off the bat here with this week's WWE Report. And looking back at Raw this past Monday night, David Hero, some significant things happened, some interesting things happened, uh, including... Um, uh, some matches being made for WrestleMania, first of which being a tag team matchup, Team Hell No versus Big E Langston and Dolph Ziggler and the championship belts. Is that Will Ziggy E? Is that what they're going to call line. themselves? I don't know if we got an official name yet. We'll have to wait for AJ Lee to tell us whether or not it's going to be Ziggy. Okay. Fresh. I like. I think that match could be great. Really? I, absolutely. I mean. Oh, obviously with Ziggler in it. He is endorsed. Well, he has great know, talent. Well, you know, Ziggler and Daniel Bryan Danielson both are tremendous talents. Then you throw in the two, the, the two big monsters. You got Biggie Langston and Kane. And Kane's done some of his best work lately. And Biggie Langston is a very talented big guy. Yes. And I just think that their in-ring chemistry is going to be very interesting. Um, it's kind of out of nowhere. I mean, you got to figure with other tag teams that are involved in this. I mean, you had Road Scholars, you had Usos, you had the Carlitos, other tag teams, and they all get jumped by Ziggy and E. Uh, we're going to talk much more about this on primetime Saturday, including the fact that this will be Langston's first match, presumably. First WWE oh, match. First one most of the audience will have seen. Uh, but another match uh, made for WrestleMania, well, a modif modification, if you will, and that being the Shield going up against not the team of Sheamus, Orton, and Ryback, because uh, Ryback has been pulled from that matchup, and now it will be Ryback versus Mark Henry at WrestleMania. And a lot of people looking forward to this match. And David. honestly, it's a better match with Big Show in that. Ryback is very limited. I think they can do more things with Big Show. I think Big Show just is a better fit. I mean, he's had some good, you know, Big Show had good matches with, matches with Sheamus. He had good matches with Del Rio. He had good matches with Randy Orton. He knows how to work with smaller guys like The Shield. And I, I just think it's a far better fit. And I, I'm willing to bet there's going to be some type of, um, como se dice, shenanigans somehow. On Saturday, April 6th? Well, in Times Square? On, yes, for the party and during WrestleMania. Hmm. Well, a couple of other reports coming across from our partner sites, ladies and gentlemen, on the interwebs. Firstly, WrestlingNewsSource.com is reporting that CM Punk has been pulled from all house shows leading up to WrestleMania. There are rumors of an arm injury that might be uh, nagging at CM Punk. And of course, WWE wanting to play it safe for this, what is you have one of to. the biggest matches in the last few years at WrestleMania. I mean, because I, CM Punk will beat The Undertaker. One I three. fully expect that John Cena has a reduced schedule. I expect CM Punk's schedule is now reduced. Rock's not going to do nothing until WrestleMania. You gotta, you gotta protect the brand. You gotta protect the main event players. One of those guys gets hurt. If Punk gets hurt, what happens now? Yeah. Who steps in for that match with him and Taker? And it takes one night, one city, one mistake for a life or for a career-threatening well, injury to happen. Look at Psycho Sid. On that, you know, broke his leg in half in the ring. You know, right. and just on a fluke. Right. So yeah, you gotta protect your investment. And right now, Punk and Cena and Rock and Brock and H and Taker, 
Those are the investments. Not unusual. You talk about investments, protecting those investments. Not unusual for a lighter schedule on this road to WrestleMania tour. And David Hero, last week we talked about our experience at WWE Milwaukee, which was a SmackDown show, which arguably the only two stars on that show, the uh, two major stars on that show, were Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. And you know what's interesting is usually on these house shows leading up is when the guys get their trial runs. I haven't seen any reports of Del Rio and Swagger no. having any trial run yet. Some other reports circulating over at WrestlingNewsSource.com uh, look at um, the... Uh, we talk about CM Punk's injury and potential injury in the house shows and whatnot, uh, are also talking about a rumored matchup at WrestleMania, and that being a, a matchup between Chris Jericho and Fandango. Not the movie ticket service, as was referenced this past Monday night on Raw, but, uh, well, Fandango, who has yet to wrestle a matchup but has an epic entrance, ladies and gentlemen, uh, might be Do you know who Fandango re kind of reminds me of? Who that? The Honky Tonk Man. Hair slick black? Blue suede shoes? When Pink a Honky black? Tonk Man first came out and he wanted to be the baby face, the good guy. He Honky Tonk Man who threw out the first pitch at a Brewer Spring training camp. Yes, in, in, in Maryville, I believe it was, or Mayville, Arizona. Out west. <clears throat> yes. And he wanted to be cheered and loved and everything. It didn't work out that way. And the fans wound up hating him. Now, I'm not saying that Fandango. Uh-uh. Try it again. No, he gets one shot with me. It's Fandango. That was too. It may work better with Try Linda, but that's a different story. But the fans are going to hate him. They're not going to like him. He's going to get heat, but not because the fans Sunday night want to boo him. It's because they just hate him and they're going to boo him, if that makes any sense. I would not be a bit surprised if he gets that kind of reaction, that the powers that be find a way to put Fandango some gold around his waist. Remember when they put the, remember when he, when Honky Tonk Man beat Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? Yeah. Oh my good God almighty, who would have thought the Honky Tonk Man could beat Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? I can see Fandango defeating Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. Well, also, a uh, lot happened on Raw this past Monday night, including a big uh, showdown between Brock Lesnar and Triple H, and the stipulation announced for that matchup at WrestleMania between those two. We're actually going to talk about that this Friday night on Hashtag Hot Tag, which can be viewed at PWRShow.com. We'll have some of your comments from Twitter, so be sure you're following the Pro Wrestling Report on Twitter. That's at PWRShow on Twitter. At Again, that's at PWRShow on Twitter. Twitter, and we'll be talking about that this Friday on Hot Tag, along with more discussion on the goings-on from Monday Night Raw this Saturday on Primetime Saturday Night, where once again joining us right here in this very studio will be Big Sexy Kevin Nash, and this Saturday night, David Hero, we're going to talk with Kevin about the WWE I see you're wearing Wolfpack Red today. Actually, I'm wearing Undertaker colors in mourning of his streak, because at WrestleMania, he will lose to Sam Punk. You know what? One, two, we three, need to make this wager... Soon. No, we're not. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, but uh, that this Saturday night, prime time, Big Sexy Kevin Nash right here in this studio again. But there's so much still to come here on this Wednesday edition of the Pro Wrestling Report, including when we come back, some major names have been added to the shenanigans in the Concrete Jungle Party in New York as part of WrestleMania weekend. We'll share those names with you. And then we'll also have a draft update from Linda Kay. We'll look at the uh, in-depth, we'll go in-depth as to whether or not Randy Orton is being utilized properly as it pertains to WrestleMania. And we talk about tonight's main event. Loaded Wednesday show continues right here at PWRShow.com. The biggest party during WrestleMania weekend is coming to Manhattan. PWR presents Shenanigans in the Concrete Jungle, hosted by Big Sexy Kevin Nash on Saturday, April 6th. But Kevin won't be alone. The party starts right after the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony, just steps away from Madison Square Garden. VIP tickets include free drinks and more, and are only available in limited quantities. Get your tickets now for this tremendous Hall of Fame after party right across the street from Madison Square Garden. It will be epic. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Here? Report primetime Saturday night. C3, there. yes, got two minutes for this segment. Three. Wednesday night. So you well, threw me off. Well, well, pay attention. No, I am, but, time, I mean, bro. but, that but, means but look, rolling. it goes C. It's out of order on here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, shenanigans in the concrete jungle. Big party happening in Times Square, right across from Madison Square Garden, immediately following the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Uh, that is going to be, as I said, on Saturday night, April 6th. Everybody knows Kevin Nash, Matt Hardy, Armando Estrada, Robbie E., Rebby Sky, Maria Canellis, Rhino, DDP, Jake the Snake Roberts, Tommy Dreamer. Great, great. Why don't you just go ahead and ruin the big announcement? You need to start paying it. You got a notepad here from Bell Ambulance. You got all this stuff. But there's One nothing the on it. One of the added, ladies and gentlemen, to the big, big shenanigans party, New York City. I'm sorry if it has less oomph now because this Jamook ruined it. But it is. Jamook? What's a Jamook? I just made it up. Tommy Dreamer, the hardcore legend. Am I offended? Legend, ECW. Tommy Dreamer, the, you know what? He is going to bring a whole different element to shenanigans. <laughs> that he will. Is he going to party with some, maybe some fluorescent tubes, some barbed wire, no, no, some no, steel no, chairs, no, 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 no. That is not allowed in the building. Are you sure? Absolutely. Really? There's ladies going to be there. There will be ladies there, as a matter of fact. I'll let you, lady. I'm giving you the ladies. Another lady just added, ladies and gentlemen, to the shenanigans party, and she is former manager to the stars in WWE. As a matter of fact, she had uh, uh, an invitational tournament at yes, one time, David. Yes, she did. And uh, her name was Marlena in WWE, but on Saturday night, April 6th, Terry Runnels will be a part of the 22 so, announcements. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we have Terry Runnels, Maria Kanellis, Shelly Martinez, Rebby Sky, Amber O'Neill. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, la, la. Oof, baby. That, uh, and, and, and that doesn't mean who else is going to be stopping in. The names we can't talk about? Yes. Uh, we'll have another name this Saturday on primetime, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing another the total one? Up to 23 names at the Shenanigans and the Concrete Jungle Party. Tickets available at pwrshow.com. This has got out of control, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, it's going to be a Hoot Nan. Hoot Nan? Hoot Nan. Hoot Nanny? It's like a party down south. Uh, but speaking of parties, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be celebrating one soon, and here's Linda to tell you all about it. Linda, take it away. Going into the final event, WrestleMania, the Nelson family already has 222 points with the announced matches to the 190 points gained so far by the Super Friends. If the draft ended today, the family would win by 100 points. Here are the totals as of today. Nelson family with 2,485 points and the Super Friends with 2,385. Speaking of WrestleMania, a few weeks ago, both Damian and Dave agreed that they would put a friendly wager on the CM Punk Undertaker match at WrestleMania. Let's go back to Studio A to find out wait what minute, will minute, be at minute, stake minute, for so this So what you're saying match. is, I'm winning again. As of right now, yes, you and are. And what you're saying is, I'm going to win again. Oh, and what you're saying is see. that I whooped his ass all year in the draft. I whooped his ass last year in the yeah, draft. I'm going to whoop okay. his ass again this year in the draft. And CM Punk's going to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Is that what you're saying? That's what I hear. Can you go over those points again? One more time. Can we see those points again? Because I like it when, when I hear you say how I'm winning in the draft. So how, what, what, what were those points again, Linda? How many points does the Nelson family have? Uh, Nelson I'll leave you family. to your own devices here. Nelson family, I know you're up. Okay, Nelson family, 2,485 points, and the Super Friends with 2,385. Jesus, yes. man, I'm, you and your nonsense. What's your problem? You frustrate me. Your little show and tell games and your little what do you mean show and tell? nonsense. I'm with you know what? Here, here's the thing, though. I did get a note from the the the. This senior does not have to be here. here. It doesn't have to be here at all. I'm winning. But it's this is this, this isn't the Damian Nelson. You know, from this glare and that glare, I can't. I'm frustrated. It's like I'm um, Andy. Please, if just get the. You're rubbing it in. Get, oh, get rid of it. I, listen, I won't. I won't finish the show. Get rid of it. You know, it's all fun and games until someone's trophy gets stolen and hurt. Or until your ego gets bruised. My ego is not You're bruised. You're losing. You know, it's because of you. I gotta take this stuff. Andrew, well, please, policy. please, take this. Andy. It just, it's Sorry. not needed right now. Okay. Come on. You know what? If you somehow win after Mania, you can have your whole big party and nonsense and Jameson. You want to bet? Let's bet. That's how confident I am. Bet what? The streak or what? 
Well, the streak's going to end at WrestleMania, as I keep telling you and everybody else out there who listen. What I'm saying is you want to bet. We talked about whether or not the streak would end. You want to bet as to whether or not Absolutely. CM Punk defeats The Undertaker. One, two, three, center of the ring, squared circle, WrestleMania, biggest stage of them all. It will happen, 20 and 1. Here's how, com here's how confident I how am. How confident are you, David Harrell? What does CM Punk love? He likes What's wrestling. His, it's his only addiction. He likes it's wrestling. He likes comic. He likes G.I. Joe. He likes Pepsi. I hate Pepsi. I'm a Coca-Cola guy. Pepsi ever do to you? I am not part of that new generation. If CM, so you have the right one, baby. Though. If CM... Well, that's a different story. If Uh-huh, uh-huh. If CM Punk defeats Undertaker... At WrestleMania, as he will. I will get a Pepsi tattoo. Where? On my shoulder. A tattoo, a Pepsi yeah. tattoo. Same place CM Punk has it. Sure. Punk wins but, 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 you but, get but a tattoo. If a Pepsi Undertaker tattoo. beats CM Punk. Which he will. Yes, he will and beat CM Punk. I don't CM mind Punk. being that man on the island alone. No, I said if Undertaker beats CM Punk. Oh, he won't. Yeah. That's not good. Then you need to get a Superman tattoo on your shoulder. I don't get inked. Bro. Yeah, that, those things are dirty. You know what? But a tattoo. if you're that, I'm that confident that I would put. Oh, that's right. Ugh, I won't need to get Pepsi. One. Fine, done. Deal? I'll Superman tattoo. Deal? There's no Perel, but I'll shake your hand. All done. right. Absolutely. Deal. I can't wait. I can't wait to what? To Can we get video of you getting the tattoo? Of course. Crying like a little girl? Absolutely. And the same with you. Or screaming like a little... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth. Fantastic. Done deal. One, two, three, center of the ring. No, 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 he no, no, no. He can win in any shape yeah, or fashion. Yeah, he can I win by count out, DQ, right whatever. It doesn't be in the middle of the ring. Whoever wins, wins. You are Stop. such a tool. You are going to so get angry. No, they're going to use a tool to put the tattoo of Pepsi on your arm. That's what's going to happen there, pal. And there's no wiggle room on this one. I'm going to vet it through legal before Saturday. Vet show. it? That's when you check things. Oh, I mean like crossing T's and dotting I's? Let's go to the end up, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we want to take a look at, we talked about one of the matches earlier that uh, has been made in for depth. WrestleMania. Oh, this oh, happened wait, last Friday on. on SmackDown. It is The Shield. This one? Taking on a three-man team of Randy Orton. One, two, three. Sheamus. And it was Ryback. And it probably will be fixed and changed to Big Show this Saturday, uh, Friday night on SmackDown. Randy Orton is embedded in a matchup that ultimately won't have future long-term ramifications on I WWE. disagree. Really? Absolutely. I think this is the match that is the catalyst to re-jumpstart Randy Orton's career. How so? Because the, there's something special about the Shield. As much as you don't like them, you like them. You know, it, it, it's just a different dynamic. And I could see Randy Orton being involved with them somehow. He uh -huh. has the look, the attitude, the swagger, the arrogance. Can he be the Bully Ray? He could be the Bully Ray. Are you calling the Shield aces and eights? No, I'm just saying it's a similar situation you know, where their I leader mean, is mysterious. You, you got to figure, you have three very strong babies. Amazingly in, strong. In, in Big Show, Sheamus, and Randy Orton. It doesn't do Big Show any good to be a heel right now. Oh, he is a heel. Right but, now. but nah, he's a, he's in between. They're gonna love him because he's gonna fight the Shield. And this way, Show can have a huge moment with Roman Reigns in that match. I don't... Okay, um, you know, it's it's it's. I think this is the best match for Randy Orton. Really? That he's had in the last three WrestleManias. Really? Yes. That's fascinating. Randy Orton, a former world champion. Okay. Randy Orton, well, the top of the card last guy. year, Randy Orton had who? Kane. Mm-hmm. Which was a great match, by the way. Lost to Kane. Yes, he did. The year before that, he had what? I don't know. CM Punk. Yes. He beat CM Punk. Okay. And the year before that, he had Cody and Ted. Mm-hmm. And Cody just about whooped his tail. Well, just about beat him. But this Ted is got a away. bigger match than those last three. Bigger than Punk. Bigger than Kane. Absolutely. Shield. It may not be as good as Punk and Randy Orton, but I think it's a more high-profile match. Well, David, it's time to look at this uh, tonight's WWE main event, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite WWE shows. It's only a one-hour commitment, you know. You know what? And you don't like long commitments, so that's perfect for you. Is this something about that fourth wall thing? Fourth wall? I heard CM Punk talk about it. We only got two here. There are four walls here. 
Main event tonight featured a main event matchup, I guess, of Wade Barrett going over on our truth winning, defeating our truth. Uh, but there were some uh, shenanigans, if you will. Uh, well, not so much shenanigans until after the matchup, where actually uh, Wade Barrett gets a win. He hasn't gotten one of those in a while, but after the match, uh, Wade Barrett was... Oh, who won Monday Night Raw? Wade Barrett. No. Defeated Miz and Y2 Jericho. Well, Miz was the one who, after the match, uh, came to the ring. He was at commentary, fought off Barrett as Barrett tried to go after uh, our truth a little bit. Uh, our truths getting a lot of time. You know what's amazing is you look at our truth and you look at Kofi Kingston, two guys that were WWE Unified Tag Team Champions. They had the big bronze Trojan pennies. Boom. And they've done nothing since they split them. Well, they did nothing when they were a tag team. They kept losing non-title matches and individual non-title matches. But well, we know our truth was busy. <sighs> Not necessarily then ring action. Our truth. Sad dude. Wade Barrett, though, finally getting some wins. Uh, we talked about how surprising his lack, the lack of reaction was for Barrett at, at that Milwaukee house show just a couple of weeks back. Uh, well, and it's because they haven't given him much. He's got the Intercontinental Championship that was Right, but so has Antonio Cesaro. Rose. And, you know, looking at the WrestleMania board over there, we got eight matches, and we don't see the U.S. or the IC title matches on there, or the Divas. Yeah. Well, what Divas do you want to see? Well, I, I don't mind the Bella Twins. Uh, Alicia Foxy, come on. But you, you know what I mean? Seamus talks to you, Matt Stryker. Uh, they talk about the six-man tag, uh, tag team matchup with uh, The Shield at WrestleMania, and they indicate that they want Big Show to replace Ryback. I venture to say we're going to get an answer to that on this Friday SmackDown. So Big Show, Seamus, and Orton. We talked about well, Orton in the last Well, of segment. course they want Big Show. Who else are they going to pick? Well, they can pick somebody like, oh, Ziggler's busy. They could pick no, uh, no. pick Pete a baby Slater. face. Pick they a baby face. Brodus pick Clay. a baby face. They could pick. No, Brodus is busy with Tensai right now. Show's not a baby face, though. I know you'd say he is. He's a tweener right now. You know, people like Big Show. He's a, you know, why not? You talk about Divas, Natalia, and, and Layla uh, defeated Alicia Fox and Exana. I missed uh, that Natalia one, by the way. Exana top tap out. Who? What happened? Oksana tapped out to Natalia. Say that really fast. Oksana tapped out to Natalia. Oksana tapped out to Natalia. Oksana tapped out to Natalia. And then? The Usos get the uh, matchup against the primetime players. What do you think about uh, Pancake Patterson? I think he's fantastic. Uncle Pancake. I think Pancake is fantastic. How do you feel about Pancake? Did it bother you? I prefer waffles. Whoa. Whoa. Why would it bother me? Well, I heard he was a, one of your distant relatives. No, we're not all related. Not all? No. You guys have the same hairline. That's this week's WWE. Why did you even want to talk about main event? All you did was just, you crapped all over the segment. I did not. Are you not, wearing bowling shoes? I did not. I did not. I talked about Wade Barrett. I hope you don't misbehave like this when Kevin Nash is sitting here. First of all, Saturday night. Kevin and I are pals. We're super friends. And I hope that doesn't get translate it. onto the show either. You know, that's the thing. You're going to sit there. You're going to agree with everything Kevin says. No, you? No, and that's I'm going to have to true. sit there. And, much, and, and last week, you know, we had a little fun talking about the WrestleMania history. Now we're going to talk about matches, Cena versus Rock. The, you and, know what? And you're going to agree. I, I'm going to have honest, be the guy. I, honest to God, I mean, Kevin is a br has a brilliant mind. He does. And we have so much in common that way, him and I. <laughs> because we both... Ladies Thank and gentlemen, before the delusions continue, the that's this week's stuff. edition of Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Wednesday. Andy, please don't lose my trophy because I won't be losing the draft this year. And we'll see you guys again this Saturday night again. on Primetime. Okay, Y2 Nelson Milwaukee, And right here at PWRShow.com, 10 o'clock p.m. Central. Thanks so much.